Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. And we've been following all the actors of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for quite some time. But one actor stands out when it comes to how they've adapted and changed throughout this entire pandemic. And that actor definitely is Tom Holland, who has not only been filming, but also doing a ton of events on his social media, and also has a lot of projects coming up in the future. So it's been really funny to see how he's managed to cope with this last year or so. We wanted to take a look at some of the best and funniest moments. So let's go ahead and jump into this, starting things off with a recent interview that he did with Jimmy Fallon, where maybe the truth about what his attire is when he's doing these at-home interviews truly is. Uh, I, I, I hear that you've gotten very comfortable doing virtual press. Uh, if you know, yes. Well, maybe a little <laughs> too, maybe a little too comfortable. I want to show you something. You posted this photo recently of your virtual press look. It made me laugh. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah. It's only the waist up, man. In a different interview, we actually saw Tom Holland talk to Jimmy Kimmel about how he still felt the need to have a live audience, even though the shows were now doing at home virtually with a video call, and he had some assistance with him before he appeared on the show, and it was pretty funny to see. And yes. because we can't obviously have a live audience now when we're online, I actually have my own live audience. <laughs> 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 so the last track will be provided by Harrison, Swain and Harry. Tom Holland has also shared a little bit about what goes on during filming for Spider-Man 3, because this third Spider-Man movie is all being filmed in the midst of everything and all of the extra social distance requirements that are out there for the film industry. It's really interesting to see how they put together the lists of requirements to make sure everyone is staying safe. The Spider-Man mask does not count as PPE. We have a light system, a blue and yellow system. When the blue light is on, the actors are allowed to take their masks off and when the yellow light comes on, we have to put our masks back on. When you're done here, what's uh, do you go work somewhere else or do you take a break? I'm gonna take a break. I might go skiing because that's something I've not really been allowed to do. It would be pretty irresponsible of me if I went snowboarding and broke my leg. Then also while doing an interview with Jimmy Fallon, he talked a little bit about his brother and the relationship that he has with his brother. I know it's terrible, bless him. It must be really difficult for him. Is it fun shooting with your brother? Or do you do you pick on each other or how does it work? It's interesting, in the scene, he gets flipped upside down. Spider-Man webs him upside down and then he's swinging back and forth while I'm having an argument with someone and he's kind of swinging through frame. And um, I've obviously done that for years. Being upside down is second nature to me now, so I know how difficult it can be. Then separately on the Jimmy Kimmel show, Tom Holland actually went ahead and surprised Jimmy Kimmel's kids with a makeshift and quick Spider-Man costume that he kind of threw together on the spot upon being asked to give a quick shout out for his kid's birthday. Honestly, he did a pretty good job. The real Spider-Man? Yeah. I want you to say hi to somebody, okay? Hi. Let's see who's on the screen. Does that guy look Bye. familiar to you? Bye. Hey, what's up, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> is that Spidey? Let me take this off so I can see you better. Hold oh. on, let's see. <gasps> that is Peter Burger. Hey Billy, how you doing? We also got to see Tom Holland post online a live stream of him trying to cut his brother's hair, which is really funny because you can watch him watching a guide on how to do it. And just the chaos that ensues in the whole process of that is pretty funny to see. Yeah. Okay. All the way to the other temple. Oh, boy. Wait, it keeps falling down, Christine. You gotta hold it with your other hand. Say that, like it's so easy. Hang on. I say we eyeball it. You have to be like crazy, but see how you're making kind of like a ponytail on top? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're gonna tie it, yeah? Yeah, you can use a hair tie. Harrison. See, like this. I think you've done too much, Tom. What do you mean? You've done too much on the sides. You've taken too much on the sides. Let's tie it up and then we can assess. Okay. 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 Okay
We also got to see one of the most unlikely team ups that we would ever expect with Tom Holland doing a live stream with Justin Bieber on Instagram. It just doesn't seem like these two are the type of people to really cross too many paths, but hey, looks like they were getting along fine and are probably decent acquaintances or friends by now. Bro. What's up, mate? Bro, such a big fan, man. Likewise, bro. How are you? Dude, thank you for saying what you said about my documentary, dude. That means so of much. Of course, man. Absolutely. How's where, it going, man? Everything's like... good. Where are you? We're uh, we're all in London. Yeah, yeah. We're all stuck in my house, and we're watching this show called... What's it called? Uh, Alone. Bro, you have to watch this show. What's it called? It's called Alone. It's, a, Alone. it's about 10 people and they stick them in the wilderness and they have to survive for as long as possible. Dang. Is it, is it a real? Is it about like, is it real life? Or like, is it like straight a... straight out real life. People are killing stuff. So it's like, it's, it's a reality show. Them. It's a reality show. I don't... I... It's like, a, it's like the most real reality show I've ever seen in my life. Then we also got to see Tom Holland in some public events nonetheless, despite everything going on. We see him waving at fans from afar to make sure he's keeping a safe distance. And he also was wearing a mask in the video. <laughs> And also, if we look all the way back to earlier last year, we did see him on set filming for the brand new Uncharted movie that he's set to appear in and play Nathan Drake, the main character of that series. And we actually got to see a little behind the scenes video that he filmed when he was on set between shooting takes. Then a little bit earlier last year as well, we did see Tom Holland do a really cool Instagram live stream where he interacted with a ton of fans along the way, which was really cool to see just because a lot of fans have really wanted the opportunity to get to talk to Tom Holland and even meet him. This is a really cool way to interact with your fan base while also doing something positive and kind of pushing the importance of staying at home, especially when all of this started and a lot of guidelines were really unclear. It was cool to see kind of this this big person influencing people who were fans and supporters of him and did something nice at the same time. Matter of fact, that sequence was actually really cool to see just because he was able to interact with so many different fans from different areas of the world even. And it was just a really cool thing that Tom Holland put together because he got to see a lot of his fans in the process of it. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 1? Yeah. So 9. It's pretty amazing. Okay, this is a creepy question, and if anyone gets this right, you're a bit of a creep. What number is MJ's hotel room in Prague in Spider-Man Far From Home? If you know the answer off the top of your head, you shouldn't be spying on MJ. You just, you should. That's the, uh, an impossible question. I'll be amazed if anyone gets it right. Maybe John Watts can't even get that question right. Okay, question number 14 or 15, could be 16. I've lost count. I'm really not doing very well with the counting. Name the super soldier project in Captain America, the first Avenger. How are people getting on? I'm saying, why are people writing numbers in there? Are you trying to confuse me? Also, before we wrap things up, we want to give a huge shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, every single Monday we ask a challenging Marvel related trivia question over on our community tab. So if you want to have a chance to have your comment featured here in one of our videos, make sure you guys head over to our community tab and make sure you're subscribed. And every Monday, if you answer the question correctly, you'll have a chance to have your comment featured right here on our channel. We want to also ask you guys, what would you do if you got a chance to live stream or get in a video chat with Tom Holland for a brief moment? What questions would you ask him? We probably think we would try to get some Spider-Man No Way Home spoilers or something like that, but let us know your answers in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.